Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload a HTML file to a website the simplest way. We'll be using tiny.host to get this done, and I'm not joking when I say they're the simplest way compared to everything else. Once we're done uploading, I'll show you some of their extra features like analytics, editing the HTML, and even password protection screens. So to upload the HTML, I've just logged into tiny.host. I'll have a link in the description so you can follow along. What you wanna do is click the upload button, then grab your HTML, drag it into the upload section. Now it's asking for a link name. We can use a custom domain, but I'll just use theirs. I'm gonna call it my HTML. We won't worry about access gate for now. I'll talk about that later and we won't hide it from search engines. Let's just click publish. And in just a few seconds, this doesn't take long at all. Here's our link. Let's take a look. And now here's the website that Tiny has created for us. Here's the HTML that I uploaded and that was all super quick and super easy. Now I'll show you how to check out the analytics for the page that we just uploaded. So if we go back to the dashboard, find the link and then click the three dots on the right, there should be view analytics there. And if I click that, you'll see we have one page view, one visitor, one session. This is all just me checking it out just now. But when you do get visitors, this will be updating in real time. The next thing I'll show you is how to edit your HTML once you've uploaded it. So if you go back to the dashboard, find your link, go to the right with the dots again, and then click edit. What it does is it opens up this editor with our HTML. And then if you click the button on the top left, you'll see now we have the code on the left and our HTML on the right. And we can just update this in real time. So I'm gonna change the background color for the highlight to red. And you can see it's red now on the other side. I can click publish and this updates super quickly. I can click view site now and you can see now live already instead of that yellow highlight, we have the red one. The last thing I'll show you is how to add a password protection screen to your website. This is great if your HTML just isn't quite ready yet. So let me delete our old website. What I'm gonna do is just do the same thing. So click upload, find the HTML, drag it into the upload section, put in a link name. But now the important step is this access gate. So it's no restrictions by default, but what we wanna do is have password protected here. You can also do capture emails if you'd like to do that. But we'll do password protected, and I'm gonna say my password as the password. And let's click publish in just a few seconds. Again, this doesn't take long at all. Here's our link, let's follow that. And here's our website, now with a password protection screen. You can edit how this looks in the dashboard like the same way we did with the HTML. But for now, I'm just gonna enter the password. So it's my password, click continue. And now you can see the HTML has loaded, but only because I knew the password. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.